Welcome to Water OpCert Schools Distribution System Operator Exam Preparation Series for Grades 1 and 2. Thank you for viewing this video from Water OpCert School. For more general knowledge and math practice, please go to www.opcertschool.com. To purchase the practice manual that was used as part of this presentation and full videos, please visit water-opsert-school.square.site forward slash for the Water Opsert School online store. Going on to number 36, which also has gallons per minute answers says crew needs to pump 500 cubic feet of water out of a trench in two and a half hours. What is the smallest size pump? So very similar terminology here. What is the smallest size pump that will do the job? But this one we're going to do a little differently because uh, we have two different conversions to uh, perform this in this case. So still to calculate our flow, in gallons per minute means gallons divided by minutes. So we get a volume in gallons that we're gonna divide by a flow, excuse me, a time in minutes. So our volume, this example, number 36, is given as 500 cubic feet of water which we're going to have to convert into gallons by multiplying by 7.48 gallons per cubic foot. So we take that 500 cubic feet of water times 7.48 to get that number in gallons. And similar to the last example, we have our time period that uh, they're wanting to have this done within given in hours. So we're going to still multiply that number times the 60 minutes per hour. All right, so let's go ahead and figure out how many gallons, how many minutes, 500 times 7.48 comes out to 3,740 gallons. So we have to pump a total of 3,740 gallons out of this trench in two and a half hours. So 2.5 times 60, which comes out as 150 minutes. All right, so if we need to pump out 3,740 gallons in 150 minutes, we need a pump that's going to give us at least 24.93 gallons per minute. And that makes answer A the best choice.